to our channel. In this week's episode of Becoming a Dog Owner, we're talking about something incredibly special and close to all of our hearts, getting a new puppy. So first of all, congratulations on getting your new pup. Welcoming a pup into your home is an exciting time and in this video we'll be covering all of the essential supplies you'll need to ensure your puppy's happiness and well-being. Alright, let's dive in! The first thing that you need to get is of course your collar and we got a matching leash. So that one is six feet and we ended up switching to our four foot one that I'll show you. You get your specific name tag for your pup. So there's Willa's. This one's beautiful. We got it from Bosley's and it's actually made in Italy. Um, and we got this really nice like rose gold pinky color. So we have our phone numbers on the back and we just really like this color for Willa. It's very neutral. Come here. really nice on Willa. It's a very beautiful color. Some people do think that she is a boy, uh, but I mean, who cares? <laughs> it, uh, it looks really great on her and there's her little Willa tag. Yeah, nice, high five. Good job, Miss Willa. And then so we got this six foot leash here. I will link it in. Um, we got the one with the traffic loop because it's just really good for training. And it has just a really great clip here. Sit, sit. You would just put onto this here and then you can do the traffic loop <laughs> okay and most leash sleds pull quite a bit so the leash just around her neck just wasn't really working for us we had to actually get a harness so tons of you guys always ask me which harness we got so we have the Kong harness with the poop bag in here um, we absolutely love this harness because of the front clip so this one's great And so this is definitely a little bit more feminine, but I think these colors look great together. And so again, yeah, the hook at the front, um, just so that when she is pulling, uh, if she pulls, it is really uncomfortable to be pulling uh, from the front there. So if, if you do actually use the back attachment, they tend to pull on the leash really hard. So that's why um, even when we had her in her puppy harness, it was a material one and we actually just used this clip on the blue leash and moved it, what are you doing? And moved or uh, attached the front clip on this part. Mina. Here, so that even when she was pulling, she would kind of fall forward a bit. And then as you can see, we got the traffic loop again for this four foot leash. And even though, even though we love this leash and it's a beautiful um, color and it matches, um, we have just kept her on the harness because she still pulls, even though she's one year, and uh, it's really great having the poop bags on there. So um, you just pull your poop bag out there, rip it off, and then you're good to go. Um, whereas if you use this leash, you can get these little baggies and just pull the bag out there. So yeah, we love this leash, um, and the harness is really great, and it's such a nice color. Next, you need to get your waist bags, and this is the best deal we've ever found, and this is actually available at Costco. We had these poop bags last basically an entire year. So you get, um, so it's double pack in behind here. So you get tons of these rolls. They're actually bigger than um, some of the other options. And then you also get that little container that comes with, so that's the one that we have just attached here. We just zip tied the bag because the clip that is on there is just like a regular plastic so it um, came off next your puppy needs a cozy place to rest and call their own it is so important to start with a small crate your puppy should not have enough space to pee in one corner and then rest in the other so make sure that they are snug and comfortable Crates can also aid in house training, providing a secure den-like space for your puppy so that they can feel safe. We also even put blankets over top of hers so that it's dark and cozy and warm. You should consider this as their own private home. So if you start small and then you can graduate them up to the bigger sizes. So if 
If it's too expensive to buy two different crates in one year, consider buying a smaller crate from the SBCA. The money that you spent on actually buying the crate from them is all by donation uh, because their crate is donated, but we ended up buying ours. The next important piece is the fence around the crate. Do not let your puppy roam free in your house. You need to establish the rules early on and a designated space guarded by a fence is the best way to do it. We bought this big fence on Amazon and I will link it below. We still use it today to block off certain spaces. So this is actually one of the best buys that we bought during the puppy phase. Once your pup has outgrown their small crate, you can graduate them to their full size crate. You may have also noticed that we do not believe in pee pads. These build bad habits with your dog. Never let them pee inside. Obviously accidents happen and that's okay. The first couple weeks are tough, but you need to be taking them out to pee every 30 minutes to one hour to potty train them properly. So we are completely anti-pee pads. Speaking of cleaning up after your pup, Nature's Miracle Spray is the best product for pet stain and odor remover. Remember, accidents are bound to happen, and when they do, it is the perfect time to train them that that's exactly what they shouldn't be doing. Providing a comfortable and cozy place for your pup to rest and sleep is essential. Willa has multiple beds, and they're pretty pricey at PetSmart, so we went to HomeSense and we got each bed for $50. So that's why we ended up buying a second one shortly after. Willa. When picking your pup up from the breeder, ask them if they have a toy or blanket that you can bring home so your dog has some scent of their family. So we got this green frog toy and it did get ruined fairly quickly, but at least she had something from her family to ease the transition into her new home. Puppies are bundles of energy and keeping them entertained is essential. Have an array of toys ready, so chew toys, soft toys, even puzzle toys, to keep their minds sharp and engaged. Playtime is crucial for bonding and keeping your puppy happy. I recommend buying the pink puppy Kong toy, lots of plush animal toys and blankets to keep them cozy. Your pup will eventually ruin a bunch of these toys, but I always think that it's better the toys than your furniture. So encourage the biting, tearing, ripping of the toys, not your own belongings. Next up, let's talk about mealtime essentials. You'll need sturdy food and water bowls, preferably made from stainless steel or ceramic. We bought the blue mat to help collect the dripping water after Willa is finished eating and drinking because there's always a big mess. And our breeder gave us a tip to mix the kibble food with pumpkin puree for a few weeks until she was comfortable at home. And then as you guys know, we switched from our regular bowl to the tiered more challenging bowl to slow down Willa's eating. Make sure to be stocked up on puppy food. And for treats, it is recommended to use kibble treats when you have a puppy. Do not introduce them to treats early on. They're constantly hungry at this age, so their kibble is more than enough of a treat. Start good dental hygiene early. Make sure to introduce brushing your dog's teeth early on. They may never love the experience, but it's so important for them to keep their teeth clean. Uh, so we started with this fresh breath and then we moved to Arm and Hammer. And then we also actually moved to a human toothbrush because she just didn't really like the other toothbrushes. And yeah, she's really warmed up to the experience now. Good. 
Grooming is different for every dog and really depends on their breed and coat. We do all of our grooming at home for Willa, so we shower her with Burt's Bees puppy shampoo and then comb her afterwards. We also clip her nails at home. So if you're interested in Willa's grooming routine, check out our dog spa day video. And if you're super organized like me and you also want to support me, I have created puppy guides on Etsy. The puppy schedule is by far the most popular item or you can purchase the puppy package which also includes the growth tracker, puppy commands, and a puppy sitter info sheet. I've used all of these products and they came originally from me writing the, these notes down on a piece of paper for our first sitter. So I wanted to have everything I needed just in case of emergency. And then I ultimately designed them in my own style. So I've linked all of the items down below. And if you wanna purchase them, I would appreciate you so much. Last and certainly not least, remember puppies need tons of patience and love. I know some days are hard and you might feel like your dog is not learning or picking up on their training as fast as they should be, but practicing patience has been my main focus over the last year and it absolutely is essential for creating a strong bond and providing a happy home for your new puppy. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.